Thank you for the invitation. Uh, so I'm going to uh, report uh, on a joint work uh, with uh, Margarita Mello, Sam, Martin, uh, and then there's a second uh, paper which is in progress together also with uh, Jonathan Weiss. So I'll um, walk over uh, number and I fix um, a zero natural number and the job condition that. 2g minus 2 plus n greater than zero g will be for the genus and for the mark points so when i say a curve is of type gn i mean that has genus g and n mark points so the moduli space we are interested in is the universal uh, jacobian over uh, m g n this is the moduli space of smooth curves of genus g with n mark points and this is the space parameterizing a curve of type GN together with the uh, line bundle on it. And so it has um, the composition in two connected components according to the degree of uh, the line bundle. Sometimes it's called universal variety. I prefer to use universal Jacobian um, because when you say Jacobian, it's clear you are talking about curves, while the curve schemes exist in a different dimensions. Um, anyhow, so uh, the problem is uh, the algebraic problem is we want to compactify this space over the minimum for compactification of stable curves. And there are two ways of compactifying this, which give, give uh, rise to uh, isomorphic uh, steps. So the first one you um, work with stable curves, but then you allow your line bundle to degenerate more general shifts uh, that are not. Uh, any more locally free at the nodes. And the other approach is that you want to uh, work with line bundle, but then you take um, more general uh, curves than the stable curves. And this is the approach I will uh, follow today. So I will denote by uh, JGM bar the stack parameterizing pairs CL, where C is a quasi stable curve. Of type Gn and L is a line bundle on C, which is uh, admissible. So quasi stable means that you take a stable curve and you are allowed it to insert above some of the nodes of the stable curve uh, a P1, which is called an exceptional uh, component. And admissible means uh, that uh, if you restrict your line bundle to this P1, then you get uh, O1. So this is the um, stack we will uh, be considering. And so what's, what are the properties of this uh, stack? So this stack is uh, uh, smooth. With a boundary which is a normal crossing, divisor. Then um, the pair JGN with inside JGN bar is a toroidal uh, pair. And so the toroidal stratification of this pair is as follows. Uh, as uh, so, um, <clears throat> So are you assuming there's no strictly semi-stable issues here? No, and this is the huge stack. Oh, just the stack. I'm not fixing for the moment any stability condition. <clears throat> so uh, the strata are parameterized by um, a pair. Um, so G is a quasi-stable graph. Of the type uh, GN. So this is, these are exactly the dual graphs, the dual graphs of quasi-stable uh, 
curves of type GN, and uh, D is uh, a divisor on the graph, so a linear in integral combination of vertices, and uh, it is uh, uh, admissible, meaning that um, <clears throat> it takes value one on the exceptional vertices of this graph that corresponds to the exceptional components of um, uh, this quasi-stable curve. So this uh, object form a category that I would call like this for um, devices on quasi-stable uh, graphs. Um, and so uh, to any such object, there is a locally closed uh, subset of this uh, stack, uh, which is defined. Uh, so you, so this is the set of all the objects uh, in the stack, uh, such that the dual graph of uh, C is isomorphic to G, and the multi-degree of your L is equal to this uh, divisor D. So this is the toroidal stratification of this compactification. So it means that you take the reducible components of this divisor and you start intersecting them and taking connected components and uh, these are the strata. <clears throat> okay, now, so this step is, um, is huge, it's not a finite type, not separated. So if you want to get something which is uh, proper, uh, then you have to introduce uh, stability conditions and uh, <clears throat> I'll uh, try to do it. Uh, because I want to also advertise a new way of looking at stability conditions. So uh, if you have a curve, uh, then you can look at the following uh, space, sigma c. This is the space of so-called numerical polarizations. Uh, because buffer sweat is not a finite type uh, and uh, it's not separated because of these different units. Hmm? Yes, yes, there can be different limits for the same uh, family. And this is due to the twisting. If you have, um, if you have uh, like a family of smooth curves degenerating to a curve which is not uh, irreducible, then if you have one limit of your um, generic line bundle, then you can have other limits by twisting, for example, for one of the components, if you twist uh, your uh, L, because you have a, a normal line bundle and you twist by O of D, uh, this is in the case, it's a circle. No, yes, yeah. No, I am considering a family over a uh, like curve, yes, over uh, the spectrum of DDR. Then you, if you twist by all D, then you get another limit. Um, so when I say D equal to zero, that becomes separated or not? No, it's the same because, uh, no, this is the total degree, but then uh, uh, when you have something which is uh, not uh, reducible, then the degree will split in different ways. In infinitely many ways, and uh, this twisting will uh, change the multi degree of this. Then, right, if I set every degree to be zero, every component. Uh, then it's not universally closed. Then there are not enough limits. Mm -hmm. But there is no limit. Yes. Then it's separated. <coughs> it's separated, yes. it's separated. But not uh, universally closed. So there's this tension. That... <coughs> okay, so what's. Um... <coughs> What's the numerical polarization? Uh, so it's um, a map from irreducible components of C to the real numbers, such that the sum of all these, um, the total, um, the sum of this um, or the reusable components uh, is uh, integral. Okay, then uh, to any such uh, numeric numerical polarization, you can associate a stability condition actually on every quasi stable model of uh, C. So, for any quasi stable model and for any line bundle uh, on this quasi stable model, admissible, then uh, you say that uh, L is uh, phi semi stable. Yeah. 
if the following inequality holds for any subcurve B of C, then you require that the degree of L restricted to D minus the value of phi on D, which means um, you take this D, which is a subcurve of, wait, of the quasi stable model. This is a quasi stable model. Then uh, you take its image here, and then you take uh, the sum of the values of the phi on each reducible components of this D. So this uh, difference uh, should be less in module, uh, should be in absolute value, should be less than or equal than the intersection number of D with the complementary subcurve divided by two. So in other words, you are taking those line bundles whose multi-degree is close enough to the numerical polarization that you have and close enough in this very precise sense. Okay, so uh, then uh, uh, for this fixed curve, you can look at all positive stable model and all line bundles that are fixed and stable and then this for a finite type um, stack. Um, but then, so this uh, actually now, this semi stability, this stability condition depends um, so what, what is happening now is that there is a wall and chamber, wall and chamber decomposition of this space. So this space, uh, it's um, so if you fix degree zero, then it's a real vector space in arbitrary degrees and a fine space. So it's an infinite union of our five spaces. So on each of these connected components, there is a wall and chamber decomposition. So there are some hybrid planes uh, that cut this uh, fine um, space into uh, regions. And this uh, semi-stability depends only on the region in which you are. So for example, you can be um, inside the region of maximal um, maximal dimension, and these are called generic um, numerical polarizations. <laughs> and in this case, you have that semi-stability is equal to stability. So there is also a concept of stability where you put here strict inequality, except where it has to be equal. Uh, and so if you are inside the maximal region, then you get uh, uh, that stability is equal to semi stability. Otherwise, if you are inside one of the walls or maybe more, then you get some degenerate uh, numerical polarization. So, anyhow, so this um, stability condition depends only on the region where uh, you are. So, uh, then uh, actually, you can consider um, the poset. We shall call stop C. This is the poset of uh, regions. Of this um, wall and chamber decomposition of this space. And this is actually the poset that gives rise to um, the stability conditions. Okay, so the stability condition depends only on um, which uh, region, region you are. And then this is for a single curve. Now, universally, you can do the following. So if you have a, a curve that um, degenerates to another curve, then uh, this gives rise to a map from this uh, space as a trajectory from this, the space of numerical polarization on the limit to the original curve. So some of the reusable component may uh, break into more components, and then this map will sum the corresponding values on this uh, limit. And so uh, this map is compatible with this wall and chamber decomposition. So it also uh, induces a subjective map like this. And now, you, if you work universally, uh, you can do two things. You can take the inverse limit of this numerical polarization. So let me call uh, sigma gn. You take the inverse limit of these spaces. 
And again, this is again um, an infinite union of affine spaces, and this is you can call elements of the space the universe of numerical polarizations. And this space has uh, been studied by Kass and Pagani, which have determined the structure of this space. But you can do another thing. You can take the inverse limit uh, over all the stability conditions. And now there is a map from, and, and you can call this the space of the universe. So, um stability condition that is a map but now surprising this map is not subjective so there are um there is an example uh in a paper of uh, pagani and tomasi In genus one and n greater than one and six, uh, then they show that there is an open subset of this uh, huge set that on every fiber um, there is an open and uh, proper uh, subset that on every fiber restricts to a usual compactified Jacobian, but it does not come from the universal numerical polarization. But I'm claiming that it does come from a universal stability condition. So. I'm claiming that the, the space, the right space to do um, this thing in families is this space here, this poset instead of this um, uh, this um, affine uh, space. So, sorry. Mm -hmm. How does this is this isn't really a direct limit as you wrote? Yeah. Um, Nothing the inverse. Yeah, you wrote the virus. Okay, I agree. Not below. Like this? Yes. Yeah, and below. Okay, yes. So the issue here that the stability condition has a limit, but you can't find a single polarization. It's compatible with all the time. You have to keep adjusting the polarization. Yeah, exactly. Yes. You are, yeah, you have to adjust for you only care about the region where yeah, you exactly. are, not exactly with which numerical values you get. Yeah, that's weird. <clears throat> Can you make some profit off this observation? I, I don't know. I, I, I'm claiming that we should study this percent and uh, and this. so the, the hope is that this will describe all the open substacks. So the claim is that this will describe all the open substacks of this, such that on every fiber you have the usual universal Jacobian. That's here and um, so we should start this process and understand this process. Right, it might be like there's some element of this, this limit that's better. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you have a candidate for this or not? Um, no, we no. If there's something really something very nice hiding there, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I choose the third stuff. <clears throat> so uh, now, what's what are the properties? So now, <clears throat> okay. So an element here is this uh, phi, this collection of numerical polarization, and an element here will denote by gothic R for, for regions. So it's collection of uh, regions, one for any curve that are compatible with this map. And so uh, now I'm claiming that um, there is an open substack. So for any um, R in this universal uh, stability condition process, um, there is an open Upset which is um, of fine type 
event uh, universally closed over MGM bar. And then, um, so this is in particular, um, it contains JGN and it's, uh, it's also smooth with normal crossing boundary. And then the, the, the toroidal uh, stratification is uh, similar to the above. But now you have to um, work with the full subcategory. So I put uh, now an, uh, an R in this subcategory. So you consider all the quasi stable graphs, but then this divisor must be um, R semi stable uh, with respect, must be semi stable with respect to this R. So this numerical condition, what is it? this numerical condition, uh, uh, make sense on the dual graph. So if you have a divisor on a graph, you can give the same definition. So you can talk about divisors that are semi-stable with respect to R. And so I, I consider this full subcategory and uh, uh, this is the toroidal stratification. And so if this R is uh, generic, which means that each of these RC is generic, uh, then you get then this uh, stack uh, is after rigidifying after rigidifying rigidifying uh, by GM. Uh, then it is representable. And proper over uh, MGM bar. And so, in particular, it is a proper the minimum for stack. Philippo, can I ask for this example? Mm -hmm. Pagani Tomasi is the trivial bundle stable. Uh, so, they have, they have many, they have, actually, they classified all of them. But this is the, one, the example where it's not in the limit. Is there other nice examples of the trivial bundle is stable? We like the ah. trivial bundle being stable, as you know. Ah. Uh, I haven't uh, checked. Yeah, check. Oh, yeah, there are many questions. <laughs> so, I, have, I don't know. Have we restricted to genus one and then it's a link to the rest of the talk? Or? No, no, no. No, what do I miss? I missed something. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm clean, but. Well, right? right? <laughs> no, no, no. This definition makes sense in general. I'm claiming that at least. For genus one and n greater than a six, we know that this step is not surjective. So there are. Oh, sorry, sorry. And then I guess it's true for an arbitrary genus and maybe. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes. I think it counts simply the two. They, yes. They, they, mm -hmm. they, they see this huge discrepancy. Eh, yes. Indeed. Yes. There's a lot of things. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, yeah, but I'd like to know if there's one with a single stable. Yeah, we can check them at least. Yeah. I have. We can check. So, does this map connection miss the generic uh, such condition? Or did you just miss the kind of non generic thing? Um, ah, okay. The Caspagani, I only consider generic things. And so there are. Generic here and generic here, and they show that this you get many more. Many more generic. Uh, yes. Stuff than generic things. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And also, I think the same should be true for non-generic. Yeah. Other question. <clears throat> I use the third for here. Okay. Now I come. Uh, uh, so I will come to uh, the logarithmic and um, tropical uh, universal trap again. So oh, let me find the uh, logarithmic universal Jacobian. Uh, 
AGN log is the category fiber in group points over uh, logarithmic schemes parameterizing uh, pairs consisting of uh, a quasi stable log curve. of type uh, GN. So we uh, heard uh, about log curves so many times. So these are integral and saturated log smooth um, maps uh, between um, log schemes, uh, such that the underlying uh, of relative dimension one and quasi-stable means that if you look at the underlying family of other curves, you get quasi-stable curves of type uh, GN plus uh, then there is uh, an eigenbundle bundle um, on the underlying family of nodal curves, which is uh, relatively um, admissible. So on every fiber is admissible. And then uh, if I want to do this, uh, uh, well, with this, uh, so I can put an R everywhere here. And then here I can put the R uh, semi-stable. And then I have an open um, logarithmic subset. Okay, so this, this is the universal, the logarithmic universal Jacobian. And then um, what about the tropical? Uh, so this is uh, J, G, N, tropical. Trop is, again, um, the category fiber in group points over logarithmic schemes, parameterizing. Okay, so um, what is a family of, um, over a log scheme uh, S? So I have to give um, a triple G, S, D, S, and uh, D, small D, S, and big D, S. Maybe I call this L, L, S, and D, S, where S vary uh, among all the geometric, small S varies among all the geometric points of S, of big S, S, big S is a logarithmic scheme. So um, the pair GS, DS is um, quasi-stable graph of type GN together with an admissible divisor. So it's an element of this category. And then uh, LS is um, a length um, function. So it goes from the edges of uh, GS into the stalk of the characteristic or ghost um, sheaf at the point little s minus the zero. So you decorate your uh, graph by um, giving to each edge uh, an element of this uh, monoid. So uh, the pair of consists of GS and LS is, uh, uh, this is a tropical curve. over um, the monoid or this monoid. And then there is this auxiliary um, divisor. Okay, and then uh, this must be compatible. Um, uh, this must be compatible with et al specializations. So for any, so plus compatibility, with et al specializations. If I have two geometric points and one specializes to the other, then there should be 
uh, amorphism in the other direction between the corresponding um, objects. Um, and so maybe I'll not specify this, uh, what this compatibility is. And instead, I will erase the blackboard. Are there questions? <laughs> What, what, what? So Molko and Weiss, your co-authors also have a load universe. Yeah, I'll talk, I'll talk uh, okay. connection with their space in a moment, yes. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so where are Okay, okay. So uh, I have the logarithmic and then the tropical is tropical and And then there is a connection between uh, the two. Uh, so there exists the tropicalization morphism. It goes from the logarithmic universal Jacobian to the tropical universal Jacobian. And this is defined as follows. So you start with a family of quasi stable log curves together with this uh, line bundle. And you have to produce um, an object above S. So this is a map of category five and two points. So to any geometric point here, I should give this uh, triple. So uh, GS is simply um, the dual graph of the fiber of the this um, family of not the, of the underlying family of nodal curves over a small S. Then uh, DS is the multi degree of the line bundle restricted to uh, this fiber. And then what about the length function? The length function is defined as follows. Um, so, length function uh, should be from the uh, edges of this uh, dual graph. The edges of the dual graph correspond to the node of this uh, curve. Uh, then I should go on to um, this monoid here. And this is defined as follows. So if you look um, at the structure of this uh, log curve, uh, so whenever you have uh, a node, say n, and then if you look at um, the slope of the characteristic monoid at this node here, maybe the node lies over the point small s, then uh, it was proved by Cato that this um, characteristic, the slope of this characteristic monoid is equal to uh, the monoid downstairs plus two copies of um, n, which generators uh, alpha and beta. And then there is a relation that alpha plus beta is equal to an element here, delta n. Uh, this delta n is an element of this monoid different from zero. 
and this is called the uh, this is called the smoothing parameter. This is called the smoothing parameter. So in the case where uh, your S is spec of a DVR and with, uh, with log structure coming from the point inside the divisor, then you are looking at the family of curves over a curve. So you, your total space is a surface. And then um, this um, smoothing parameter uh, is, uh, defining, is defined in the following way. So you look at the equation <laughs> of the surface on this node and the equation will be that's why equal to t to some power, uh, where t is a uniformizer, uniformizer, and so this power of t is exactly this smoothing uh, parameter. Uh, so this uh, is a generalization on that of that uh, uh, notion where your base is an arbitrary logarithmic uh, scheme. Okay, and so uh, then this map sends a node seen as an edge of the dual graph into its uh, smoothing parameter. Okay, so um, these are the definitions, and now uh, comes the first uh, theorem. So theorem, this is the theorem uh, in the first uh, paper. Uh, so first of all, this um, logarithmic universal Jacobian is isomorphic to the compactified universal Jacobian with logarithmic structure coming from the boundary. In particular, uh, so in particular, uh, this is a logarithmic algebraic step. Very nice one coming from a regular scheme together with a normal crossing device. Second, uh, uh, Yes, second uh, is that the tropical um, universal Jacobian is an arcing set. What is an arcing fan? It's a logarithmic algebraic step, which is the tau locally. Uh, isomorphic to a toric variety, the quotient stack of a toric variety by its uh, torus. So this is a zero dimensional uh, stack, and it comes with the logarithmic structure, which comes from the boundary of the toric variety. And so an Artin uh, fan uh, is something that it logically looks like this. And so this Artin fan, so in particular, it's also a logarithmic algebraic stack. And this um, Artin fan is also uh, isomorphic to the following uh, limit. So you take the limit, this time is, is the direct limit over all the elements of your uh, category. And then uh, to any such GD, you consider the affine space on the edges of G modulo its maximal torus. And then you take the limit. Whenever you have a morphism between two, two such objects, then you get an open inclusion in the opposite direction. So the transition function, the transition maps are open embeddings, and this limit exists, and this, uh, this um, acting fact. But sorry, how is it different from the acting panel of MGM bar? Uh, it maps to to that. I'll, I'll... Okay. But can I check? I mean, the map from JGM bar to MGM bar is straight, right? So the map from from JGM bar to MGM bar, it's a strict one. No, no. <coughs> Isn't that so? so. You said in that by taking a to the number of edges, it's precisely the log structure coming. No, but the, there is a stabilization procedure going on. So upstairs, we have quasi-stable curves. So if you map to the stack of quasi-stable curves, then it's a straight. Okay. But then you stabilize. stabilize. Mm -hmm. So I don't yeah. think then it's straight anymore. Yeah. yeah. 
And so what are the other properties? Uh, ah, okay. The third property is what? Okay, is uh, tropicalization morphism. Um, is um, subjective. Free and smooth or not smooth is the same because it's strict and it coincides uh, with the canonical map to uh, the active fan up to um, removing non faithful monotony up to removing non faithful monotony. Let me explain what do I mean. I guess. Questions? Uh, what the between the and the architect and the what, what? Which way does the map go between the architect and the law? So I'll do now draw the diagram that maybe explains. <clears throat> So uh, the, we have this um, IDES. There is this um, log universal uh, Jacobian, which is a log algebraic stack. So any log algebraic stack has a canonical unique morphism to an acting fan. And then there is this strict morphism here. And this is also a logarithmic algebraic stack, and it, it also has a map to its uh, own active fan. This map is strict, so there is an induced map here. And the claim is that this map is an isomorphism. And the difference uh, between this and this, these are two active fans, but here you have faithful monogamy and here not necessarily. So what, what does it mean, uh, faithful monogamy? So it means that um, so why this certain fan does not have faithful monogamy because there could be automorphisms of the graph that are uh, the identity on the edges. They do something on the vertices, but they are the identity on the edges. And so there are automorphisms of the graph that have trivial here on this um, all right. And so this uh, is called non-faithful monogamy. Well, when you do this canonical map to the acting fan, you want to only consider Artin fan that have faithful monogamy. So um, this uh, theorem is saying that if you remove non-faithful monogamy from this Artin fan, then you get exactly the canonical map from um, this algebraic stack to its um, Artin fan. So this is a very good approximation of the Artin fan of uh, this um, uh, stack here. And then uh, fourth property is uh, trop. JGN um, is compatible with uh, the stratifications. So there is a toroidal uh, stratification here, and there is a stratification here that comes from this uh, limit, and uh, this maps and um, strata into strata, and also it's compatible. <coughs> 
in uh, the analog, analog uh, tropicalization morph is from uh, for MGN that goes from MGN log into MGN uh, tropical, which was constructed in the foundational paper of Cavalieri, Chen, uh, Martin, and uh, John. <clears throat> So in a sense, our work is um, a lifting of this uh, old story to the universal Jacob. Okay, now I come, the questions? Now I come to the final part of the talk, uh, which is the connection with, um, with the work of um, Sam and uh, John. Ah, maybe I should uh, say uh, remark. Uh, so remark after this theorem. Uh, remark: there is uh, an analog. Uh, there is there is a non Archimedean version of this theorem, so to say, where uh, you have an, um, a non Archimedean tropicalization map. That goes from the Berkowitz analytification of this uh, space into the generalized cone complex, the extended generalized cone complex um, associated to this um, artifact. <clears throat> and also, maybe the second remark is that uh, there, uh, there is a version of this theorem. For an arbitrary family of log curves. X over S. And this is a special case where you take S, you take the universal curve um, over uh, MGN uh, log. Okay, now what's the connection with the, um, this work of um, Sam and Jordan? So, um, so uh, in our universal uh, setting, uh, one can uh, specialize the result by saying that, okay, so there is this MGN uh, log with the tropicalization map to MGN uh, trop. And then above here, there is a space which is called log peak. And above here, there's a space which is called tropic. And there's a tropicalization morphism here. Um, so this space parameterizes uh, log curves plus, uh, so x over s, plus um, MXGR uh, forcers with some technical condition with bounded monodromy. And this space here uh, parameterizes um, tropical curves, gamma over S, uh, plus um, a torsor for the sheaf of linear function plus the torso uh, for the sheaf L of linear function on the graph on the family of uh, tropical curves. Okay, so this, uh, what are the properties? So this um, log peak and uh, throw peak, as Sam explained in the previous talk, they are um, proper, log smooth, group stacks, commutative group stacks. So they are wonderful objects over the base, but the only um, defect, so to say, is that they are not uh, representable by a logarithmic algebraic stack. Um, so not, however, not uh, representable, represented 
by a um, logarithmic algebraic step. The topic is the arc fan of log pitch. Hmm? Topic is the arc fan of log pitch. Uh, I don't know. Immoral, yes. I don't know if there's an arc team fan for. Um, I mean, you still have non faithful monodromy in topic. Ah, yes, up to up to this, this issue of um, removing non faithful monodromy. Then, yes, but morally. More. I don't know if there is a theory for for this more general kind of objects. Okay, so what's the connection between our uh, work and um, work? So this is the theorem uh, still in progress, and uh, the theorem should uh, say the following. So theorem B. By the way, I forgot to say that everything uh, before can be done by putting, uh, so everything here could be uh, done by putting everywhere a universal uh, stability condition. You get open some stack here, open some stack here. So everything works uh, the same. <clears throat> okay, so the theorem says that, uh, first of all, that's it, first, first part, there exists a Cartesian uh, square so the what we call the logarithmic universal Jacobian it's a tropicalization these two guys uh, so this we map onto log peak and this we map into tropic And this diagram is um, Cartesian. Okay, so the map uh, is defined as follows. So here you have a family of quasi stable logarithmic curves and uh, together with this line bundle. And then you use the fact that there is, um, so from there is a map from OX star into uh, MX uh, GR. And then uh, this L is an OX torsor, and then you can push forward and you get uh, a torsor for this. And uh, here you get, um, here you get what? So you get, if I mean here is this, um, this collection of uh, gamma S, okay, this uh, maybe gamma S is this um, tropical curve. With this uh, ds and now here we use the fact that there is um so there is an exact sequence uh, so if you look at this um this graph this tropical curve there is an exact sequence uh, so the sheaf of log linear uh, functions uh, is a sub sheaf of the sheaf of piecewise linear function and the quotient is z number of um, vertices of the graph. And so if now if you have a divisor here, then there is a connected connecting all connected boundary map from uh, H0 of this into H1 of this. And so from a divisor, uh, you can get um, an L torsor, which I didn't uh, find uh, this DS. So now the claim is that this is a Cartesian uh, square. And second point, uh, if you have, uh, so for any, now if you fix any generic stability condition, universal stability condition, then you have the same diagram, the same Cartesian diagram. Uh, but this time uh, you gain the fact that this is a subdivision 
And therefore, this is a log uh, modification. And so you get, um, so in this paper of uh, Sam and Jonathan, they prove that this is not representable by over image break stack. However, uh, there are, uh, there is a log, uh, there is a modification of these uh, stacks uh, that is represented by over algebraic stacks. Um, and these are very uh, concrete uh, such um, uh, modifications of uh, the stack that are represented by um, logarithmic algebraic stacks. So summing up, so these are these two are canonical, uh, where they are not representable. And whenever you fix such an R, you get something which is represented by logarithmic algebraic stack, and uh, uh, which is uh, a log modification of uh, this uh, stack here. But is this diagram uh, Cartesian square also? Yes, yes, yes. Because it, it, so these two are open some stacks of these two, and uh, they are in, in the diagram is also Cartesian. When you say log modification is log modification of an open subset or something? No, no, these are uh, subjective. Yeah, no, these are these are also subjective. So it's a proper subdivision. It's a proper subdivision. Yes. So like the picture is that here the fiber. Uh, of the map over um, MGL should be like a real torus. And um, because this log pick somehow identifies things that are just the thing. Yes, exactly. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you put the generic stability condition, then uh, you subdivide, you get the polyhedral subdivision of this uh, real torus. And so here you get something which is polyhedral, um, but depends on R. Here you get just the real torus, which is not subdivided, and so uh, it's not something um, algebraic. Um, uh, maybe I'll uh, to mention a potential application of this. Um, so why is this there being quotes? Uh, because we are writing uh, the details. Yeah, it's going to work. Um, so maybe I'll mention a last uh, thing, a potential application of this. Um, so when a so potential application is that when you don't have a generic uh, stability condition, Potential application, which we are working. So when, uh, so if uh, this R is not generic, then um, this map here uh, from GG and Trop R to uh, Tropic. Is not the subdivision anymore. <laughs> because um, there could be uh, so if there could be strictly semi stable object uh, here, the divisors that goes to the same uh, element here. So in other words, if R is not generic, then uh, you can have different representative. Um, of uh, an element uh, here as uh, our semi stable divisors. Uh, however, um, there should be a, a better um, art in fan. Uh, maybe I'll call uh, JG and drop uh, hat, maybe. Where is somehow you identify. Um, um, equivalence classes of semi stable uh, devices. So, here you should parameterize like polystable divisors with respect to R. So, this then should be a subdivision. This map here should be a subdivision. 
And then uh, if you do now the, um, the Pfizer product, then, uh, so here you get always uh, this GGN log R, and this map is not representable. So this stack is not any more than in Manfort, this map is not representable, but then you can do, uh, you can do the, now the private product with this space here. So I, I added another space with the hat maps like this and now this time should be so this should be now um, this should be a, a this would be a lot modification because this is a subdivision and uh, so then um, what we think is true is that this map now is uh, representable should be representable and uh, uh, that uh, this space here so this space if you look at the underlying um, algebraic stack this space should be the relative group moduli space of uh, this uh, stack here. Yes, sir. you identify the mistake. Yes. So I think this is. Um, not known in general so i mean uh, if this r comes from a numerical polarization i think then you can cook up um a relative uh, relative uh, ample line bundle of universal curve of mgn that gives rise via slope stability to this universal stability universal polarization then you can use gid or relative gid to construct this good moduli space but if you if your R does not come from uh, universal numerical polarization, then you cannot use GFP. Um, and so this uh, so then I think uh, this space um, uh, should be completely new. I think so. This could be a, a nice application of this um, um, Sam and Jonathan uh, theory of this uh, to a classical problem in uh, universal Jacob. So to construct this relative good moduli spaces. This is uh, speculative. Uh, okay, so I'll, I'll stop here.